let us start with another high yield USMLE style question. So this is a 22 years old male who is brought to the emergency department one hour after he was hit in his right flank by a hockey stick. So there is blunt trauma to the right flank. And afterwards, he reports no blood in his urine and he rates his pain as a six on a 10 point scale. So usually we rate a pain from a scale uh, one to 10, right? On a scale one to 10. And uh, like six is just a moderate pain. And his pulse is fine, blood pressure is also fine. Examination shows moderate tenderness to the palpation over the right flank. So it is important that there is uh, tenderness over the right flank. Uh, and his hematocrit is 42, which is quite normal. Urine analysis shows no abnormalities. And which of the following is the most appropriate next step in the diagnosis? So at this time, take a pause and think of a likely diagnosis in your head. So the answer is no further testing is indicated. Option E is correct. Reason. The reason why option E is correct and why the rest of the options are incorrect. Because this patient is hemodynamically stable. There is no hypotension. There is no tachycardia. Furthermore, hematocrit is fine. If the hematocrit uh, would have been low, such as 32 instead of 42, it would show that there is hematuria, there is a blood loss, there is bleeding uh, through urethra, which is causing a, a, a blood loss and which is resulting in anemia, which is resulting in low hematocrit. But in this case, hematocrit is fine and urine analysis was performed, which showed no abnormalities. It means there is no a microscopic or gross hematuria patient is not bleeding. It means there is no injury, significant injury to the uh, urinary tract, uh, such as like in flank, you can think of uh, kidneys, right? So there is no injury to the kidneys and you don't need to investigate the patient by performing very costly and very invasive modalities of investigation. So you just uh, need to reassure the patient and you're going to observe the patient and know for the testing is indicated, right? But if there is, so this is really high, highly tested and high yield question uh, that if, you know, th th there would have been significant uh, tenderness and then uh, hematocrit uh, would have been low or urine, urine analysis showed uh, any abnormality and or the patient is hemo hemodynamically unstable, right? So then you should have performed a spiral CT, right? Uh, in order to investigate the cause. So, or you can perform renal arteriography in order to rule out any injury to the uh, renal artery. So, but in this case, renal arteriography or spiral CT scan of the abdomen, you are not going to perform because these are uh, costly and uh, they are uh, unnecessary in this case. In this case, when there where there is no indication, where there is no uh, hemodynamic unstability, where, where there is no significant tenderness, and the patient is doing fine. So in this scenario, you are just going to reassure the patient. Option A: Diagnostic laparoscopy. So diagnostic laparoscopy is uh, an invasive procedure, and uh, uh, you can opt for it as a last resort when there is no clue what is the source of the uh, bleeding in the in the patient, then you perform the diagnostic laparoscopy in a trauma setting. So in first you have to perform, first you have to think about the severity of the patient, right? So in this case, there is no severity and patient is hemodynamically stable. So you're not going to perform uh, a, 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 a diagnostic modality, which is considered as a last resort uh, diagnostic uh, modality. So you just can rule out option A. And uh, we talked about option B and option D and uh, retrograde urethrography option C. So if there is trauma to the urethra, then you can perform retrograde urethrography. You inject the dye or contrast medium into the urethra and then you perform the imaging. So uh, you can uh, perform retrograde cystourethrography 
in order to locate and diagnose the injury to the urethra. But in this case, uh, there is no injury to the urethra because the injury to the urethra usually present uh, with the blood at the uh, meatus and uh, inability to void. So there is no such history. There is no uh, information given in the clinical vignette. So you can rule out.